How's it going guys? My name is Sean. Welcome to Venom Racing and today the WRX gets a few upgrades. It's going to get some new wheels and tires. It's going to get a new air filter, so more maintenance. A little bit more maintenance here and there. The front bumper is painted. It's going to go on the car and I got the WRX Limited slash STI Limited headlights to throw back in the car like it should have been. And well let's go ahead and get to the install. Here shows you the difference between the Limited and the base model, how much brighter the Limited is compared to the base model. This would be one of the first modifications if I had just had a base. I'd switch to the Limited's headlights. Look at that. Looks nice. The only difference is I've heard the pinouts different on the base model ones. So if, if you guys do decide if you have a base or a premium and you don't want to switch to the Limited, there will be some different pinouts you have to do on the plug itself. The plug, it's the same, so it'll plug in, but I think to get the daylight uh, running lights, you have to get, like, I think you have to change the wires on the plugs. Let's get to the other side. Here's the front bumper, guys. All painted. How does it look? Wow, here's how she's looking, guys. New wheels, new headlights, the front bumper has been repainted. That's looking sharp. Alright, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. As you can see right behind me, we went with the STI BBS Forge wheels. I feel like those are great looking wheels. I eventually will sand them down and paint them bronze just because you get that classic Subaru look. But they were in such great shape, the guy that I actually bought them off of maybe had less than a thousand miles on the wheels. The finish is pretty much brand new. I, I couldn't actually go ahead and just sand them down. I would hate to do that because the finish looks great. So I went ahead and left them the Forge Titanium, whatever color that they look. But they look really good. I went with the Hankook uh, Ventus Evos. The reason being is because I wanted something with a little bit uh, more tread wear versus like my favorite tire, the RE71Rs. Those are great. But so this is going to be my daily driver and I'm going to be probably putting at least 300 miles on it a week. I wanted some tires that would last a little bit longer but still give me a little, little bit of grip. So I went with the Hankook Ventus V12s. We also swapped out the air filter today because I figured just let's get all the maintenance out of the way. That way the car is like a brand new vehicle. Also I swapped out the front brake pads or stop tech brake pads because the factory OEM ones look like they're getting a little bit run down. So I went ahead and just figured why not. Let's go ahead and throw some new brake pads on it. We also swapped out the headlights for the limited headlights, which in my opinion look 10 times better. I'm glad I did that. And if you have a base model or premium model WRX, the clip is the same like I was saying earlier in the headlight, but I think the actual wiring pinout is a little bit different. So there's probably forms out there in the, form, or in the WRX forms that actually give you a little bit more information on how to do that, but it's a mod I would highly recommend. Another thing we did today was, was that it? Oh yeah, we threw the front bumper back on after since we reshot it, so the car is going to get back together. I'm actually going to start driving it today, and I'm going to try to get all the kinks out of it. And there's a few more parts on the way for this WRX, so guys, stay tuned. Y'all might, I mean, go ahead and look forward to it, because it might be something from Cobb, something that every WRX owner has, or was planning on getting. I, that's enough hints right there, so... Go ahead and like this video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one.